Hello friends. So in this video we will discuss about the self view of the ECI XTM 100 and some card details also. The basic STM 100 cage contains a slot for input output interface module and dedicated slot for the MXC cards and the ECU external correction unit. The module can and cards are distributed as follows. 8 slots I1 to 8 optically allotted for the input output interface module. 2 slots A and B respectively allocated for the MXC card. This is the main cross connect card or the multiplexer cross connect card. Each MXC has 2 slots. Slots A1 has A1 A2 and slot B has a B1 B2 to accommodate STH Sonnet aggregate modules. One slot allocated for the ECU. The ECU is located beneath the PXC card and its front planner features several interface connectors for the management like external timing, alarms, order wire and overhead. It also includes colored alarms, separately LED indicators and selectors and a display for selecting specific modules and ports for monetary purpose. So let's go in the second slide and see the self view. So this is the basic STM 100 self view. These are the slots I want to I8 which is used for the input output interface. These are the MXC A1, A2, B1, B2 for the slot A and slot B. This is the FCU and this is the ECU card. This is the uh, self view, real view of the XTM 100 self. And these are the self view which is can be shown in the animals. So traffic input output interface module. Slot 1 to slot 8 optically allotted optimally allotted for the input output interface module. The XGM 100 supports a wide range of input output interfaces and Ethernet layer 2 services enabling its deployment in the transmission network including. So these are the list of the cards which can be inserted in the slot I1 to I8. E1 card, the 2B Mbps synchronization mapping, E3, DS3, STS1, STM1, STM1 optical interfaces, STM4, STM16, Ethernet card it's etc so these are the types of cards which can be inserted in i1 to i8 input output and data traffic function include the pim pim is for the pdh interface module sim is for the stitch interface module sam is for the stitch aggregator module eis this is the ethernet cards and here in this section you can see the traffic types ports per module and maximum port like 2 mbps per Ports per module can be 28 and the maximum port can be 168. So we are going to the next line. MXC, the main cross connect control card in slot A. And there is one more card, a main cross connect and control card in slot B. So MXC is also called the multiplexer cross connect and control card. Two slots A and B are respectively allotted for the MXC cards. These slots are in IOP, so one is the image for the other. One card in the standby and other is in the protection. Each MX has two slots, A1, A2, and B has a B1, B2. The so XTM 100 self accommodate two identical MXC cards. By default, the MXC A is the main card and MXC B is a protection card. Both cards perform the following functions simultaneously in one plus one protection configuration. So these are the functions which can be uh, uh, performed by the MXC card. Communication control, alarm and maintenance, cross connect, timing and synchronization, distribution of power supply to all module, routing and handling of 32 DCC channel. In addition, the MXC accommodate the NVM compact flex memory card and houses the STH aggregate module SAM card. The additional MXC card provides one plus one protection to the cross connect matrix and full one is to one protection to all other functions. Since the standby MXC has an identical database to the active MXC, in case of hardware failure to the active MXC or its traffic interconnection, the input output interface modules switch to the protection MXC just within 50 milliseconds. Similarly, in case of hardware failure in the timing unit of the operational MXC card, the backup unit takes over the timing control with no disruption in the traffic. So here, this is the MXC card in B slots, and these are the standby. So the XTM 100 main cross connect and control card perform the following XTM 100 cross connect timing multiplexing and power function including the other functions. Uh, for reliability purpose a redundant pair of the main cross connect card MXC and MXCB may be configured with A being at the active card and B in the protection card. SAM card A1 and A2 in the MXC slot 
MXC accommodate the NVM complex flash memory card and house it the HDH aggregate module each MXC has two slots slot A has uh, A1 and A2 and slot B has B1 and B2 and these are uh, used to accommodate the HD Sonus traffic and put into the ring and vice versa in the same as SAM card for the slot B they are B1 and B2 SAM card collects the traffic from the tributary cards and put into the ring and to the vice versa fan control unit so in F1 slot you can see the fan control unit and the fan control unit controls the unit at right hand side of the self provide cooling air to the system and these are some features it contains the nine separate fans for the added system redundancy air is drawn in back of the fans from the right side of the chassis and exhausted through the horizontally mounted cars and mod modules and through the left side of the chassis redundant controller located on the two mxc cards active the fans in case of a failure of one of the fans the remaining fans provide redundancy and start to operate in turbo mode until the xfcu 100 is replaced the xfcu 100 can be extracted and replaced without interrupting the multiplexing operation provided the replacement does not exceed a few minutes issue the issue card is external connection unit the issue connection management alarms overhead access and order wire interface to the active mxc card this card also provides a physical connections for these interfaces two types of issue cards are available for the active 100 issue f and issue reduced cost the issue f support the following management and alarm interface and function so these are the functions which are handled by the ECU. Ethernet interfaces to ENM Lightsoft and EMS XDM. Ethernet have for multiple ANI connections. Serial interface for craft terminal. USB interface, synchronization input and output. T3 and T4. Alarm severity outputs. External alarm outputs. Alarm cutoff operational and alarm LEDs. Laser activation during ALS monitor interface for STM forces. These are the functions which are controlled by the external connection unit. And there is a different slots on external connector units to perform these different functions. The ECU reduced card support all functions provided by the ECUF except for the Ethernet expansion to hub monitoring port, hold up capacitors and alarms in out. These are the input output and aggregate module. So these are the list of the input and output module and these are the list of the aggregate module card different types of cards can be used in the aggregate module and these are the different cards of uh, different types of card which is used in input output module this is the total info interface and the maximum number of ports is mentioned here so these are the xtm 100 in network how the xtm 100 can be used in the network so these are some uh, sample and these are the technical specifications so HD tributary and aggregate interface, SONET tributary and aggregate interface, PDS tributary interface, data aware interface and topology. So these are the interfaces which can be used in XTM100. These are system capability, it can be operated in layer 2, layer 3 and MPLS for the Ethernet. Pluggable SFE support electrical, non-colored and CWDM. These are the HD SONET. It can operate in 18 to STM1, 14 to STM4, 12 into STM4. These are PDH 504 into E1. 24 into E3 and 24 into DS3 CWDM specifications and the other, other specification like it can be power operated in these three maximum power dissipation operating temperature management physical dimensions so this is all about